Hi everyone, welcome to the basic science series by Dr. Lokendra Kumar. I have created this program to promote scientific knowledge among students and young researchers. In the previous episodes, we discussed about the structure and function of major histocompatibility complex. In this presentation, we will discuss about the endogenous pathway of antigen presentation using MHC class 1 molecule. This presentation covers the detailed explanation of endogenous pathway and explains about the function of each protein involved. So please stay tuned to understand how endogenous pathway of antigen presentation works. The endogenous pathway of antigen presentation is an important pathway of self-antigen presentation adopted by all nucleated cells of our body to present peptides to our immune cells. This helps the cell to be recognized as self. This pathway also detects the presence of viral infection in our cells. It involves MSC class 1 molecules and the endogenous proteins of the cell. The pathway of antigen presentation starts with the ubiquitin tagging. The endogenous protein is first tagged with a small protein called ubiquitin. This protein ubiquitin complex enters in a proteasome. The proteasome is a protein complex of 20S and 19S regulatory components. The protein passes through a narrow channel at 19S unit and it cleaves the protein body using ATP dependent proteolysis. The generated peptides are then transported inside of the rough endoplasmic reticulum using a transporter protein known as transporter associated with antigen processing, in short TAP. The peptides are transported into the rough endoplasmic reticulum in ATP dependent manner. This is a heterodimeric protein made up of TAP1 and TAP2 units. TAP has affinity for 8 to 16 amino acid long peptides. After crossing the membrane of rough endoplasmic reticulum, the peptides are trimmed by endoplasmic reticulum aminopeptidase, in short, ERAP. This protein has affinity for peptides with hydrophobic or basic amino acids at carboxy terminal. Because the peptides for MHC class 1 molecule require to have anchor residues at the terminal positions. Inside the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the MHC class 1 molecule requires processing and folding before it binds with the endogenous peptide. This folding process is performed by molecular chaperons. First, the calnexin, a membrane protein, interacts with MHC class 1 molecule and further it binds with ERP57 to make a 3 protein complex. When beta-2 microglobulin binds with the complex, the calnexin is released and two new chaperone proteins named calreticulin and tapasin were added. Tapasin brings the TAP transporter complex near to the MHC protein complex and helps in the attachment of peptide with MHC class 1 molecule.
After binding with the peptide, this complex is dissociated and Carl reticulin, ERP57 and tepacin are released into the lumen of rough endoplasmic reticulum. The MHC class 1 peptide complex is now structurally stable and exits the rough endoplasmic reticulum. It proceeds to the cell surface by a Golgi complex. Now the complex is ready to interact with cytotoxic T cells. I hope the presentation was helpful for you to understand the endogenous pathway of antigen presentation. In the next episodes, I will be covering new topics of immune system. So please stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. With this note, I conclude this presentation. Please forgive my mistakes. Thank you and Namaste.